Uncivilized Vitality, so um, this is Dr. Morgan. Volume 2 of the uh, three book set of the Uncivilized Vitality program is coming out uh, this summer, 2024. And uh, as such, we want to talk about the um, eight families of tools. I've written those on the board. Uh, clothing and covering, cut and dig, rope, cordage, bags, bottles, fire and light, salt and needle, sling and spear, and the book. These are the eight families of tools. Uh, that all human beings in all cultures at all times have used some version or form of to uh, enable them to uh, live comfortably and uh, thrive in nature, in the natural element. These are still important tools to have today. Uh, we're going to talk about line number one of, of packing and using your tools, what we also call the pockets and pouch. And if you are a member, it's on your, um, your little packing placard here. Line one, line two, the bedroll or day pack, and then line three, the full kit. And then we have those laid out on the back. So I'm gonna set that down there. So let's go through how your entire um, tool set will fit into your Uncivilized Vitality uh, drawstring bag. Uh, with a couple, uh, obviously that's the, the pouch or the things I have on my, my person and sometimes in my little pack. So with this, I could go out. Uh, this is what I would take with me when I'm out day hiking or exploring or I'm just out on a, a trip in case an emergency happens or um, I could easily spend uh, a night or two out there uh, if I had to with what I have in these bags. So let's show how that works. So we'll go over the first one, clothing and covering. Obviously, I'm going to have uh, the clothing on my back that's appropriate for the, the uh, environment, the season, the weather conditions, and I can prepare ahead a little bit. The other thing I'm gonna keep in my uh, drawstring bag is of course my uncivilized uh, multi-hood, multi-use hood. This thing can be used for uh, a field expedient uh, outer layer. I could uh, use this to um, sleep in. Right? I could use this as an extra blanket. Obviously it's not preferable to a wool blanket or a, a sleeping bag, but just having an extra bit of clothing with me is, uh, is important. The uh, second piece of clothing and covering I always have with me is my poncho. So uh, we're gonna do a video later today, I think on different ways you can use your poncho as a shelter setup. But this is just for a quick rain. Uh, I can use it as a ground cloth. I can sit down uh, with this and use it in conjunction with my multi-hood to make a, a micro environment to keep myself warm and not going into hypothermia for different reasons. So that's my clothing element. I would have that with me. Uh, also in my bag, now we talk about um, bags and bottles or different containers. Obviously there's the drawstring bag, I used to keep this all organized, and once emptied I could use that to, to sit on. But I keep my bottle kit in here, uh, and my bottle kit is my slightly more than a liter single walled stainless steel canteen, and I also keep uh, a stainless steel cup. Oh, I should keep a spoon in here too. So I have a whole eating kit. But I have a liter of water and I have a um, nesting steel cup that if I needed to boil or purify water or make myself a tasty beverage uh, while I was out there in the, the field, I could do that. So I have my container with my water with me. I don't know why I have the spoon. I just didn't take it out. So there are my containers. Uh, I also, speaking of water, I keep a life straw in my bag. It doesn't weigh anything and it's I might get in a situation where I can't get a fire started to boil water out in an emergency. I can always use the life straw. Uh, for cutting and digging, I keep my Baco uh, Laplander, just a folding saw or a silky boy or some kind of saw. I have a, a small saw on my multi-tool, but uh, just having a, this saw makes a huge difference in case I have to do some uh, bushcrafting or in an emergency I need something to cut with. And that's really all that's uh, down in my uh, down in my my actual the bag itself those elements and I do have a small pocket on the inside of the the bag and inside this pocket I keep a little bit of cordage uh, if I needed more uh, rope I can I can take the uh, drawstrings out of the drawstring bag and I've got two seven or eight foot pieces of Paramax cord and I always have a, I usually have a fast rope in the bottom of the bag I'm not sure why that's not in there uh, but I have a little hank of paracord, so I have some cordage with me in case I need to tie something up or use that. I have a, a headlamp with me that's got a, um, a flashing red uh, distress mode, again for emergencies or at night. I can use that to see. And then I keep my 
uh, fire element, I have an emergency whistle, I have um, a little Bic lighter in a Exotac uh, floating and waterproof case, and under the little Ranger band I have some uh, candle wick. So I have some tinder. I also carry my little tinder, tinder tin with me that I've got some um, little ready-made tinders in there. So I have fire and light. I also have, as part of my salt and needle, I have a couple of little dude wipes in case I have to go to the bathroom. But I've, I don't want to rely on those in the field, so I always just throw my toilet kit in uh, with me. My toilet kit contains a larger pack of dude wipes, a little, little uh, thing of Kleenex, a Ziploc bag to dispose of waste, more dude wipes, and a something to uh, dig my little cat holes with. Or, or, you know, if I have to dig out anything else, I wouldn't want to dig a big hole with this, but uh, it works. And a little hand sanitizer. So there's my toilet kit. I just throw that in the, the pack as well. Now, as far as some of the other elements of the tools, on my fanny pack, there's more of the salt and needle besides my toiletry and hygiene kits, I have uh, a super, super small um, first aid kit. I have a triangular bandage, a little bit of uh, orange duct tape, and a mylar space blanket, and a small um, tourniquet. I have oh, more cord, more paracord in there. I have a multi-tool. This is the Leatherman Signal. This is another thing I can cut and dig with and also has a fire starter on it. Uh, as far as sling and spear go, uh, I have an extra magazine in here uh, to my pistol, which I don't need to show right now, but that's my sling and spear. And I actually have <laughs> my sling or a sling with me. So I have sling and spear covered. Uh, and then as far as cut and dig, I have the multi-tool. I have at least the two other knives on me. And I have in my wallet, I have another small flashlight that I carry with me and another uh, small flint and steel. So I have plenty of uh, fire and light. As far as book goes, I guess that would be my smartphone and the uh, uh, miniature notebook I keep in. I keep a little right in the rain notebook in my wallet with a tiny little golf pencil and another little flint and steel. So I have those things in there to cover all the tools. It doesn't seem um, like I had a lot. So mostly the stuff just rides in my pockets or in my little fanny pack. And I've covered all the families of tools. I have my book with my little notepad and my uh, smartphone. Sling and spear, I carry an actual sling and then instead of a spear, I carry a, a Glock. <laughs> Salt and needle, I've got hygiene with my toilet kit. I've got some gear repair um, with the duct tape and usually I have my rip spool in here as well. Fire and light, I have a headlamp. I have several ways to start fire. Uh, bags and bottles, I carry stainless steel water, uh, water bottle, a canteen, and the bag uh, and the fanny pack that I contain all the stuff in. Rope recorder, I had plenty of that. The, uh, I also, as far as bottle go, I carry a life straw just in case. Cut and dig, I have my small trowel for my toilet kit. I have a saw and two or three knives. And then the clothing I choose to wear for the day is environment, weather, and season appropriate. And as far as an emergency, I have the Mylar blanket that I can construct a shelter with, my super versatile poncho, and my super versatile um, multi-hood. If I thought there was even a remote chance I might spend the night out, I would just pull my, take my wool patoo or blanket with me and maybe a, um, a reflective space blanket. So that's all of line one, and that can all fit easily with room to spare for snacks in your uh, Uncivilized Vitality drawstring and everything else usually in your, in your pockets. So that's it. Leave some comments. Uh, we'll do another video about line two, and then we've done several, several videos at line three, the full kit for the different events or campaigns we go on. I'll do a bedroll level, which would basically be this with the addition of comfortable sleeping gear. So a ground cloth, uh, a quilt, a couple blankets, and a, a mat, and maybe a full-size tarp if I wanted to be really comfortable. Just rolled up in, in, in addition to this, that would be line two. So uh, leave some comments below. Uh, like, share, uh, subscribe to the channel. That helps us out. The, the better the channel does, the better um, revenue source we have for the charity so we can get other people out there camping and be able to provide these things for people that um, might not be in a position to get out and enjoy the benefits of being in nature. Uh, I think that's it. So that's it.